Well, it's another morning. We're gonna head out. It was actually really cold for us this morning. <laughs> so we've been having a hard time getting going. We were going to rent a motorbike this morning, but we just, I think we froze in place. <laughs> so we're gonna head up the hill again and find some breakfast and hopefully get the motorbike later. Ready to go? Yeah. Don't carry you a little, huh? Sophie was tired trying to go up the hill. There are lots of places to eat down in town, but we like coming this way to get a little more of a country walk, and we like the restaurant we found yesterday. So the restaurant doesn't open till 10, and we found this little store to get some snacks. Bananas. What did That's you good. get, Sophie? I got cookies. She got some tiny little cookies. So and cute. I got um, a heart candy. Piece of candy for one bot. Josh, you want to show us what you have in there? So you got some sort of uh, yeah. some sort of bread drink. thing and Ooh, wafer. Some wafer cookies and your little biscuit. Yeah. Your little bun. Can mm -hmm. I see your bun? Such a little dog. Ooh, I wonder what's inside. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so we were looking at Josh's little bun. It's not bread at all. It, we open it up and it looks like that. I don't know what it really is, but like that pork floss stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I said, sniff it. And he sniffed it and he said, it's meat. It's meat. <laughs> not so much for that. At least it was cheap. All this stuff came to 31 baht, which is like just barely over a dollar. So. Ah, you win some, you lose some, and sometimes you end up with pork floss. So somebody else gets the breakfast this morning. Oh, and there's so well, one is happy, one is like, really? That's all you got? <laughs> That's all we got, pup. Well, now they like it. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. They came running out of spark. You can eat it. You can eat it. She's like, no, that's okay. <laughs> Got some macaroni with and what was that? Oh, nothing. I didn't say a thing. <laughs> you said, I don't like onions. <laughs> so, I guess this dish is safe from him mooching. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sophie's pretty hungry again. Got some Myanmar tea, green tea. And I stole some of Sophie's ginger pieces to put in there. Curry as well, so taste it. No, I'm not. Rice? Look how much I'm already done with mine. It's already been like maybe five minutes. Seth is very hungry. Eating. It's good. It smells so good. Seth is digging. Motorbikes, we're getting ready to go. You know, gassed up. Trying one? to figure out where Seffy fits best. Might, we can try it a little bit, see, but I don't want you to. She's so big now, I think she should go in the back. <laughs> oh, we made it! I didn't die on the way. <laughs> it's been a really long time since I've ridden one of these. You want to see a secret on my helmet? There's a secret on the helmet. There's a kitty on it. <laughs> nice. So, we're at the long neck. Karen, I don't know if I'm saying that right, village. And it's right here really close to Bai. So we're super excited to go in and see what it's like. Um, I read that it's 100 baht per person, so we'll just have to go and see. Better not be $50. The Long Neck Karen are a subgroup of the Karen people known as the Kayan. Many Kayan tribes fled to Thailand from Myanmar due to military conflict back in the 1980s and 90s. Among the refugee camps set up, there was a Long Neck section, which became a tourist site. That allowed them to become self-sufficient on tourist revenue and not financial assistance. This village continues that, allowing the residents to sell their handmade wares to visitors and make their living. Women of the Kayan tribe are well known for wearing neck rings, brass coils that are placed around the neck appearing to lengthen it. I think got something. Got a bracelet. Put it on me and watch this. 
Girls first start to wear the rings when they are five years old and over the years replace them with a longer coil with more turns added. The neck itself is not actually lengthened but is given the appearance of additional length because the brass rings push down on the collarbone and compress the rib cage. The rings are considered to be a beautiful part of their cultural identity. So the village was really nice. There wasn't a whole lot to do there. It wasn't so big, but it was so cool just to be able to meet people from another place, another culture, and everybody was really welcoming and really kind, and they expect you to take pictures and videos, so they were okay with that. Sometimes I ask just to be polite, and they're like, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Um, and it's much cheaper. It was only 100 baht per person to get in, much cheaper than doing like a whole big tour. Today we're doing our own do-it-yourself tour on the motorbikes and so far it's been really fun. Sefi's a little bit tired still but she's making do and now we're at the big Buddha statue and there are a lot of stairs so this should be very interesting. It's all those stairs. So the stairs are gonna be a little too much for Sefi today so we're gonna take turns up and obviously this is a really bad time of day to do this we're <laughs> all about one o'clock this is like the hottest part of the day but it just worked with our schedule for today if you come i would suggest coming early or later Noise elephant camp where we need to find a person to ask if we can go see the elephants. So right over there. I mean, there's a house Aren't here. They cute? So we've got a bunch of bananas to go feed the elephants. Steffi, what did you think of the elephants? I really liked it. Yeah, what did they feel like? What did she Rough. feel like? Yeah, she enjoyed those bananas, huh? Look at her. We took a little break and now we're gonna get back on the road again. He was getting sleepy, which is, you know, a little bit of a concern being on the motorcycle. But we found this place, and Sefi loves strawberries, if you haven't been able to tell already. Let's see what they have. This is a really nice place to just kind of calm and relax. Got some ice cream. Hopefully that will wake her up. So pretty. This Okay. We got a strawberry shake, 70 baht. You know, it's gonna be a little bit expensive here, but it's really, really good. I do really love strawberries. That dirty little foot. <laughs> Oh, 
close to home now. it was once again time to head over to the night market. Every evening at 6 o'clock, the Main Street and Vi turns into a market, with many vendors setting up an array of food stalls. You can also find clothing, art pieces, and souvenirs. We've been coming every night for dinner. You never know what you will find, and there are so many amazing and new things to try. It's also a great place to come when you are on a budget. Locals also come out to the Watt for social time, be it group dances, exercise, or just visiting and having a good time. that the person we were looking for the night before wasn't gone. She merely traded her cart for a more permanent location. So he's happy she found her wrap. If you are in Bai, look for a friend with the delicious wraps and homemade fries. You won't regret stopping here. Hi. So we're back at our hut for the night, winding down, getting ready for bed here pretty soon. It's a really nice evening. It is cooling down a bit, but it's a welcome relief. I do know it's going to be super cold in the morning, but we're enjoying it while it's nice. We had such a big day going around today, but it was so much fun on the motorbikes. Um, I had to go slowly and carefully because it's been forever since I've ridden one, but it was so much fun. I couldn't get any footage while we were going because obviously I can't drive and do video at the same time, but hopefully we'll get some more cool videos tomorrow as we're going on another adventure. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> yes, that. <laughs> Please like and subscribe.